Hey everyone, John Henry here, and today in the market psychology video, we're gonna be talking about failures, right? Now, failures can come in a lot of different ways. That could be a, a, a failure of continuation for buyers or sellers. It could be a, a breakout attempt that fails. It, it could be a channel that tried holding the highs and failed. It can come on at several different levels. What we're talking about here is the buyers from yesterday running this market up. Look at that last candle of the day very aggressively to the upside. We know that the buyers are more than just interested at this point. And then we open up today with a huge gap higher, definitely over the overnight, and they probably finished their jobs to the top side. So opening up with such a big gap up after such strong bullishness yesterday, you're likely going to have a lot of buyers that are very willing to take some profit. And after you see a first candle of the day like that in the context that we're in, it definitely looks like that's exactly what they're doing. So knowing that they're going to be taking some profit, that gives you an option that you can either sell that very first candle, knowing that they're probably going down, and that is an opportunity, or wait for a little more information. In this case, if you sold that first candle, the bad follow through told you you might not wanna be hanging on to it. That's why I say, wait for more information. They try to turn down once, all that the buyers managed to do when they tried stopping the sellers, they went one tick above the high and immediately turn back down again. That tells you everything you need to know about the buyer's case here. The buyers have absolutely no case and the sellers own this market. So you're looking for this market to drive back down again and that's a nice sell. The problem is when the sellers get down to the lows, they close one tick outside of it. This is starting to get pretty reminiscent of the day before where we start the morning out in a range. Then it follows it up with really bad follow through for the sellers that tells us, yeah, we're probably in a range. We need to be looking to scalp and we're going to be buying low and we're going to be selling high. So that's a buy opportunity to try to run this market back up towards resistance around those highs. And it worked perfectly. We hit those highs. We're now high. We need to start selling. And that's a beautiful candle to do it on. So that's a very nice sell to go back down to the bottom. But the problem now remains that, hey, we're forming a level of rising support and the buyers are trying to get the move going, but where are they? They went one tick above the bull candle there, failed. They went one tick above the bull candle there, failed. The buyers aren't showing up to the party. And that's a very big clue in that something's wrong. We already saw the buyers fail up here. And we know that today is likely a range day in the bigger scheme of things. But if we're at the lows and this is a range day, we should be going higher. And the buyers aren't showing up. Then we get this big bad boy right there. Outside bar, it's an engulfing bar to the downside, closing very aggressively lower and out of that rising area of support. That's a clue that a breakout is now pending, and this is actually the trade of the day video, so make sure you watch that. But a beautiful run down all the way down here until we start seeing the same thing. The sellers stop showing up to the party. They're nowhere to be found. And then we see the buyers swoop in, well, if this is a range and it's going to be a range on the day, we should be going back up to the highs and we're very low, right? We broke an outside underneath the earlier range. You can't get much lower than that. So we know that buyers are interested and that big bull candle right there tells you you can probably get a nice scalp to the upside. But again, just like we saw before, the buyers run into a little bit of trouble there and they start hitting an area of falling resistance, a possible wedge top. It could be a new channel that's forming, but it's hitting that area of resistance. And when the buyers tried to break out of it right there, it completely failed. And that told us, although the buyers may be interested, they're not interested in buying this high up. And this may be the start of a new range inside here that we can look to sell and drive that market back down. And it followed it up with a beautiful sell right back towards the downside. So essentially that's what we're talking about with failures. You're looking at the technical side of things. We're in a range. The buyers aren't showing up to the party. Something is wrong here. We're at the range lows. They should be buying this and they're not they may be expanding the range farther down. So the market psychology tells us the buyers that are stuck in this are going to exit and drive that market lower and you get that huge burst to the downside before the buyers become interested again on those cheaper prices. So very interesting combination of things going on today with crude oil between the market psychology as well as the technical analysis. And that's gonna do it for this one. So hopefully you found it useful, hopefully you learned something and found it interesting and we'll see you next time.